So I've been asked to make a film about awakening. So here goes. Awakening, the process of becoming awake. What is this all about? I'm going to give you the simplest explanation I can possibly come up with. People, particularly in the Western world, have been led to believe that they exist inside their brain. And they look out of the world through these two eyes and they carry a body around and they're aware of having thoughts and feelings they need, they need to eat and drink and go to the toilets and keep themselves clean and stuff like that. And with that mindset, life becomes about work, career, love, relationship, and that's all there is to it. Now that is a definition of being unawakened. If you think that that's all there is to your existence, it means you're asleep. That's right, it means you're asleep. So let's go into it a little bit more detail. When a person is asleep and they get strong emotions coming through them, the most likely thing they're gonna do is to feel anger, rage or whatever, and project that out onto other people. And if things don't go the way they want them to go, they're likely to get pretty pissed off, angry, upset, and all the rest of it. And again, project it all onto other people and take it out onto other people. And frankly, not take any responsibility for their own actions, thoughts, being and existence. So the beginning of the awakening process is when you realize that you are so much more than what you've been taught by parents, caregivers, teachers, friends, peers, all the rest of it. You start to wake up out of the cultural trance that everybody is indoctrinated into after they get born. So let me be really clear about this. When you get born, you are fully aware that you are a multidimensional being. I always like to use the phrase multidimensional space time traveler. Now, if you're interested in this in more detail, please go and download my ebook called Multidimensional You, because there's a great deal in that book that would help you to understand what I'm talking about. However, in the meantime, let's go a little bit further into this. One of the ways that people awaken is to become aware that they are so much more than what they've been led to believe, what they've been indoctrinated, what they've been coerced into believing about themselves. In fact, here's another thing that's quite a big key. If you believe a lot of things, you've got a lot of belief systems, that's also a pretty good sign that you're asleep. Because if you simply take on belief systems of others, it means to say you're not thinking for yourself, you're not really considering for yourself what life is all about. That's a pretty big thing too. So what can be a big breakthrough for a lot of people is they can become attracted to plant medicines and they can start to do what I call work with plant medicines, which means they usually go on a retreat. They consume plant medicines and suddenly they get to be aware that they are so much more than they ever realized. There are a number of other routes you could choose. Another one would be to do out of body work with someone like Todd Akamesis. He hosts retreats on out of body. That's another way that you can become aware that you are so much more than you're being conditioned to believe. And I'm going to give you another possibility which you could choose to train to be a shaman. If you choose to train to be a shaman, this would be another way for you to break what I would call the cultural trance. So this is the introduction to the awakening process. We'll go into more detail in a bit. Thanks very much.